Hello and welcome to this edition of The Truck Stop, brought to you by Ken Taylor & Associates. Hi, I'm Ken Taylor, and I want to talk about kind of an issue with a solution today. And the issue on commercial departments more and more is becoming the business development center or the internet department. What we're finding is that the way the people working those phones are paid, especially on inbound calls, is to get an appointment. So they work very, very hard at trying to get those appointments. There's a problem when it comes to the commercial customer. They don't want to make an appointment to come in. They want detailed information on a truck that only a truck person with knowledge and experience can give them. So what we're finding is there's an untold number of commercial prospects that never get to the commercial department and actually get abandoned by the business development center. In many cases, they hang up because they're so frustrated. We had one situation with one of our dealers where the business development person was trying to get them in for an appointment. There was only one problem with that. They were 500 miles away. Yes, 500. So I can see them driving for a couple of hours and then leaving again. Besides, that's not how they buy. They don't buy based on the fact you've got an appointment and now you're going to hard sell them. It's opposite and it opposes everything that we teach. So if that's the issue, if we're losing customers left and right, what's the solution? Here's the solution. If you're paying your BDC uh, phone personnel by appointment, then have them transfer it to the commercial person and if they get an appointment, let them know. They can still get paid. The key is they don't have the experience nor are they taking the right approach to get this customer. Here's the question that the person in the BDC or Business Development Center should be asking and this is a very simple question. Will this vehicle be for business use or personal? As soon as they say business, that call should be transferred. We have a very short word track. It says, well, great, we have some uh, commercial vehicle experts that will be more than happy to assist you. Would you like me to transfer you? That's the conversation. It goes to the commercial department with people who have the experience, the know-how, and understanding of how the commercial person works. The business owner wants information. Our guys know how to give it to them and we can retain that customer. We can never count the number of customers that have been lost possibly forever because of being pushed by someone in the BDC to make an appointment when that person knows nothing about trucks. We had one instance where they called the commercial department but they weren't willing to give up the sale. Their question was, what's a KUV? Well, obviously that's a body structure for the back of a truck and they had no idea. The commercial person said, well, you know, a litmus test for this situation is the fact that you don't know what a, a, K, a KUV body is. About an hour later, the commercial manager of that department got a call from the manager of the business development center saying, well, I understand that uh, you said that our person had to take a test in order to sell this truck. He goes, no, I didn't say that. All I said was this was kind of a litmus test <laughs> of the situation. And the BDC manager said, oh, never mind, <laughs> and hung up the phone. So the person interpreted a litmus test that you had to take a test to sell the commercial vehicle, which you actually do. Uh, you do have to get certified. So again, the point of being all this, let's keep the commercial customer and we're not going to keep them if we're trying to force them to come in for an appointment. One other very, very important point about all of this conversation is on the commercial side of the business, it is not transactional. It is relationship oriented. Our job simply, simply to build rapport. If someone called in asking for a truck, they want to buy and our job is to build a rapport and show that we have expertise. There is a huge liability issue between all this we haven't even touched on yet. And that is suppose the BDC person doesn't know the right questions to ask, which they don't. 
They don't know about cab axle ratios. They don't know about weight distribution of the front axle to the back axle. They don't know about GBW and GBRW. Those are all things they have to know. Are they going to be towing anything? If so, how much weight are they going to be towing and what is the combined weight? So there's a lot of things that could get the dealership in serious trouble from a liability standpoint simply because they didn't ask. So rule of thumb is very simple. Will this be for business or personal use? If it's business, transfer the call. We can track those transfers and still get that person paid. Ken Taylor, signing out for the truck stop and commercial truck training.